Welcome back. The Valentine's Market and Family Day took place over at the Collegedale Commons today. Local 3's lovesick reporter, sick of me obviously, Rylan Angle was there and he brings us a story. Valentine's Day is just a few days away and I've been collecting a few tips for all the men out there to stay out of the doghouse. If you come here and shop, you'll be able to find something that will make your girlfriend very happy, keep you out of the doghouse for sure. Rebecca Neighbors is the owner of Hand in Hand Community Events, who organized Sunday's market. There was a petting zoo, photo shoots, courtesy of A5 Images, live music, and more than 100 vendors with unique gifts perfect for your Valentines. So if you got a personalized wood Valentine card, they can keep it year after year. Sherry Stymack hand makes wood crafts through her business, just saying wood crafts. Stymack's good friend Jeff Robinson, not to be confused as her husband, was there to help and gave me a few tips as well. Sometimes staying out of the dog cart in the house is hard to do. Can't go wrong with this. So many of them. Now to hear from some experts on the meaning of Valentine's Day, I had to speak with some kiddos. I think it's like a day that you appreciate everybody that you love. Siblings Paisley, Willow, Jamie, and Gus had different opinions on the holiday. What do you think about girls? He's got like three no. friends. <laughs> Gus explained he has one girlfriend, and when asked if he was getting her something special. I do every year. A rose and chocolates and a teddy bear. All the men out there should be taking notes from Gus. If you still need to get any gifts, remember to shop local and check out any of the vendors from Sunday's Valentine's Market. Reporting in Chattanooga, I'm Riley Nagel, Local 3 News. Well, I wonder if Riley got me anything at the market. Guess we'll find out.